Welcome to the Encounters Podcast, brought to you by Mercy Culture Worship. My name is Jasmine Wheeler, and I'm so glad you're here and ready to encounter God with us. Our vision is to take people from corporate encounters with God to daily personal encounters with God. So we're inviting you into our corporate encounter, hoping that it leads you deeper into your daily personal encounter. So we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. We don't make room for you in our car, in our room, wherever it is that we are right now. We don't make room for you. We give you the entire room. So speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. Come on. The altars are open this morning. Come on. We're ready to receive this morning. The word says in Psalm 118, 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. So come on, can you begin to lift your voice this morning? Come on, begin to thank him this morning for who he is and what he's done. Come on, begin to lift your voice this morning. Oh, we love you, we love you, we love you, Lord. For all you've done, we lift our voice to you, Lord. Come on, begin to lift your voice this morning. Begin to lift up your voice. Begin to lift up your voice. Oh, we thank you, Lord. 
praise with us. Come and get your praise with us. Come and get your praise with us. Yes, you. Yes, you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, come and get your praise with us. Come and get your praise with us. Come and get your praise with us. Yes, you. Yes, you. Praise with us, come and get your praise with us, come and get your praise with us, yes you, yes you, oh come and get your praise with us. it says that the men of war went out and circled and I wanted to challenge specifically the men in this house I wanted to challenge the fathers specifically in this home and I wanted to encourage you guys that the men of war their act of warfare was praise because what happened is that the the priest blew the trumpets and when they blew the trumpets uh, there was a loud shout of praise and there's a loud shout of praise from the men. And so I declare this morning, I, I break off timidity. I feel like there's a spirit of timidity over men that are not leading their home. And I declare in the name of Jesus, timidity, you must go. And I declare right now that there's an act of praise. If you partner for what, what the Lord is doing in this place right here and now, if you partner with it this morning, you will see a breakthrough in your family. Walls of Jericho in your family are breaking down. So come on, don't be shy.
walls are coming down. The walls are coming down. The walls are coming down. The walls are coming down. I hear it now. The walls are coming down. 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 And I wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you. How could I thank you enough? Oh, I wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you. How could I thank you enough? After what I've seen, all I've seen, I've seen your goodness. I've seen your kindness. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. Oh, after what I've seen, all I've seen, I've seen your goodness. And I've seen your kindness. I cannot thank you enough. Oh, I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. How could I thank you enough?
encounter this week, I asked the Lord, what does the testimony of salvation look like for me in this next season? And as I was preparing for this moment, I heard him asking you that question. And this is what I heard in response from the Lord. He said, shod your feet with the readiness of the gospel of peace. And I sensed this wave of fear and intimidation coming in our nation. And what the Lord said, our response, the testimony of your salvation is that you shod your feet with the readiness of peace. And there's a scripture in Isaiah 26, three, and it says, he keeps him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. Come on, I put thank you on my lips. I serve the most high. So as we're declaring this morning, I want you to lift your hands all over this room. And we say, Lord, we will set our eyes on you. Jesus, we will set our mind on you. We will have thankfulness in our hearts because we remember what you have done. So we will put thank you on our lips. Come on, would you sing that? Would you greet someone as you head back to your seats today? Thanks for worshiping with us today. If you want to encounter God with us again next week, be sure to hit the subscribe button in the channel to stay in the know. Let's pray the benediction together. Lord, teach us your ways that we may know you and find your favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.